Welcome back to Halls of Torment and today we are exploring the Beta, 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 Britta. Now expect that there may be some issues, you know, with things that don't work properly, but we can see we have 19 more achievements, that's quite a lot. We also have two new potions, I think at least, I'm, I'm not too sure. Not everything is yet included here, but uh, do you see that? We have the Frozen Deaths. And we also have an Agony Mode, uh, uh, isn't this amazing? And I want to test something. I will just turn this on and go over here because um, it, it still says that it's on, right? <laughs> it might accidentally save the setting. Agony is zero. Does this mean it worked? Did we cheat the system? So you first have to beat the game to un enable the agony, which just means I think it's harder or something like this, but you get more enemies. And we are playing the cleric because the cleric is a lot of fun, has debuffs, so it doesn't really matter what we get, we'll still be strong. Okay, these enemies are no joke though. They know from my attack speed, I can't believe that. Uh, 12% force. Applies to the main character and all abilities. Improves all attacks and abilities in different ways. Usually increases stats like duration, piercing, knockback and others. Okay, okay. It also read level 1 there. That looked fancy. A little bit different than usual. I think... Do I just run over and... What is that? Do we, ju we just attack this? That's like a... That's like a pillar or column. Uh, let me attack this again. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, um, that is interesting. I think I'll just get everything. What are you? Uh, it's evil. It's... Is it also damaging the enemies? I think it's only damaging me, right? Yeah, I think it spawned from the column over there. Ooh. Well, I guess it's a pillar, yeah. Let's, let's just stick with pillar. So now the base crit chance is changed from percentages to solid numbers. I think I like that. Well, this one isn't. <laughs> this one is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. 10% damage. Do, do I just... I think I'll just rush over for a ticket, right? There's no reason to keep going with the main attack because the main attack is kind of meh. I think that's a pot. Yep, we got 5 gold there. Do we have a map or something? No, we don't. So we just need to know where to go. I already equipped the amulet that would show us where the ingredients are, but it had no pointers. So I assume either there is no, like, no potion ingredients here, or maybe you first have to beat it that they appear, or it's bugged. It, it could be either of those, but it had no effect, so I changed to the XP amulet again. Did I just... Didn't this use to refresh the duration and you didn't get it twice? I'm actually not sure because I don't remember ever getting it twice. Okay, interesting. There's our card, we also don't have to fight. Do we go for the Radiant Aura? That's kind of fitting, right? With our guy. Ah, there we go, beautiful. This little dude is chasing us, but now he's dead. Okay. Well, so far I like that, but we have two really weird weapons. Wait, why is this level 5? Weapon proficiency level 5, isn't it a little bit too much? So either we make it smaller and stronger, or we make it way bigger. And this is for our main weapon, so I think I want to have the bigger one, because we apply a debuff, right? It's not really about the damage, it's more about the debuff that we apply. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, now everything changed, so I don't know what's really good and what's bad. Why are you level 5? Oh, it's unlocked starting at level 5. Oh my god, I love that. It's not its current level, it shows you at what level it is unlocked. That is such an improvement, because before you had to guess, or theorize rather. Well, I mean, it's kind of the same, isn't it? Guessing and theorizing, yeah. Okay, 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 I like that. So what is a weapon that we would really like to have here? Mm, we have two tickets down, so I assume we can max out three. That means we get roughly eight tickets, hopefully, at least. This is... Magma or gold? Oh, explosion dude. Well, don't mind. I don't know what the counterpart to this one is. I would like to see that first. Like for those where we have a... Ouch. Where we have a counterpart, I want to be a little bit more careful. Is it always base region and force or was this another one before? Uh, there's also force. I guess it increases knockback then. Uh, should I wait? I, I feel like we have really bad weapons. Are you a boss? Wait, that is differently colored. Usually they are teal, right? The bosses. Oh, that is... That is a really interesting boss. Wait, huh? Where are you guys coming from? Um, okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Careful, Dex, careful. Oh, th there's a lot of action going on. I... Do I like that? Do I hate that? I think I kind of like it a lot. Okay, interesting. Agony is still at zero, so yeah, I don't think it's working. So that's good, because that would have been a bug. If it would have worked. 10% range means we hit more enemies. Very nice. Even though our damage gets more distributed. But nah, I think that's fine. Uh, okay. 
Ooh. I really gotta say I love the graphics though. It, it's really a joy to, to play in this. It feels like an old snowy biome, you know? Like if you go back 20, 30 years, maybe also 40, <laughs> you know? Let's just roll. And 10% damage sounds very good. We have to be careful that I don't fall too far behind. Let's go for the HP regeneration. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned right now because I don't know the map yet. It can happen very easily that I just get damaged out of nowhere and die. And that would be sad because we want to experience the final boss especially. More damage but less area. Effect chance. Oh, that is- yeah, look at this. This is the one that we want, not the other one. Um, sure, let's do that. And I like that it also tells you now that it's for the debuff. It was kind of obvious, right? But only if you already knew the character. If you blame for the first time, it's like, okay, what are you actually doing? Area and total stacks. Wait, what? Wait, you apply stacks? Oh, I'm dying. Wait, but you apply stacks? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I have horrible weapons, don't I? Because the enemies are just gathering like crazy. I may have to redo this. We do have a revival. Do I just run down to the card? I think I do. Yeah, it's a little bit too much for my taste. Is it just me or does it feel like these bosses, they take zero damage? Yeah, look at that. Every damage that they take is blocked. Wait, what? I mean, obviously he lost health there at one point, but it's not really happening anymore. These dudes are all so strong. This is not the one that we want, we want the other one. Let's just go for the boss here. Dude, can you just, like, bail... Damage and base force, sure, whatever that means. I, I don't even know what uh, base force would mean for this, because that doesn't really make sense. More attack speed? Yeah, that's fine. I, I know before I said we want to have the other one, but I don't think it had attack speed. Now, attack speed means we can apply more stacks to enemies close to us. Dude, are you kidding me? Is, isn't this a little bit too much? Um. Okay. I don't even know what hit me there. I think it was this dude, but that may be a hitbox problem. Or I really walked into him without noticing. Isn't it? Isn't this a little bit overkill? Like, j just a little bit? Okay, okay. Finally! All we got is this, a potion. We get the uh, hallucinogenic elixirs. Okay. Uh, I, I just realized I can't retrieve anything, right? Huh. Oh, Frost Avalanche emits four projectiles in the four diagonal directions. I That may not be the final icon here. They also said like the icons are most, like most of them are placeholders to just have something right now. Oh my, that's more than four. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I'm really glad that I went for this guy now. Uh, base crit, um, I think I will just go for the movement speed here. One base force uh, to pierce, right? Oh, that, okay, that's Pierce now, is base force. Interesting, 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 okay. Wow, I'm really glad I went for the Archer now, because we can increase the amount of these these Frost Avalanches by 40% later on with an upgrade. But oh, that will be good. 10% damage sounds right. Why do we have 6 here? Wait, how many do we have right now? 5.2. Oh, nice force, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There was like 140,000 or something. Okay. So one thing I already noticed is we really have to deal with the enemies. And I may just start banishing right now all the bad things and just hope that I would never need them, like armor and stuff like that. Because, like, I think you really need to focus on good upgrades. If you don't get them, like, look at this. The enemies, they take so much damage. They have so much HP in general. It's really hard to deal with them. Even the Ice Avalanche, which I think is amazing, is it's not doing it. It's just not enough. Look at that. Okay, there are a huge amount of enemies. Can I somehow... I think I need to farm now. I can't walk around. I just have to farm as much as possible. 10% damage or do I go for the base crit? I think I'll go for the 10% damage on everything. And this is dedication. Yeah, that is the one that we don't really care about. I will roll here. Uh, I forgot what the other one is, so I will just go for attack speed. The issue is the game has nerfed a lot, okay? Oh, look at that. So these are the two that we have as choices, and I'll just go for the multi-hit, I guess. But yeah, the game has nerfed a lot, and I think barely anything got buffed. So all in all, it's way harder than it was before. And I think the hardest part about it... Who are you? You didn't exist before, right? Did he just not spawn? Wait, what? The last time we got into five minutes, yeah, and he wasn't there. I think he didn't get teleported while we walked away. 
or something. Why well, is a little bit weird? Okay, okay, isn't this a little bit overkill what's going on here? Kugelblitz is insane. Astronomer uh, Transfiction. Let's go for that, because this way we can easily make the enemies weaker. Um, I think I will just go for crit here. I'm not sure yet if I really want to banish the defensive upgrades, because it, it's... Hmm, it's looking tough. Yeah, it's looking actually really tough. Multi-strike. Ooh. That's projectiles. Yeah, that sounds good. Then we hit more enemies. Right now, like, just clearing the enemies is my biggest issue. So let's collect as much experience as possible. Fragile chance and affliction chance that used to be 10%, I think. Now it's 15. I like that. Like, it's a bonus that you get once you have something that applies the effect. And then you can upgrade it. Maybe Kugelblitz would have been good in general. Mm, not too sure about that. Let's roll here. Frost chance. I don't think I want that. Maybe it's like the only good thing there. Let's go for crit bonus, I guess, yeah. How much damage do we deal to this dude? I feel like, okay, so this seems like a long lasting boss that takes years to deal with him, maybe, possibly. Or maybe you don't want to fight the enemies at all. Like you just keep running away and hope for the best, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. That is Pierce, but I will go for the attack speed. Yep, 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 hitting more base crit. I think the other one was better, right? If I remember that correctly. So, so far, okay, we are having a decent amount of damage, I would say. And we'll go for the attack speed here. Just shoot faster, that will make it easier to deal with bosses later on. Did you draw a heart? Is this a heart? That's a heart, right? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love you too. Oh, there we go. This is Ice Avalanche is amazing. Uh, yeah, we don't want to have the crit. Maybe I should just take it. Let's see what else. Yeah, multi-hit. Way better. May, way, 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 way better. Though, I would love to just upgrade this. That with the next card, we can unlock a new trade. It could also be that we only have one trade available for it so far. Or maybe... Oh, there's probably none at all, right? Because you need to get the achievements first. Oh, oh, that's bad. Or maybe there is one... Right, and the second one you unlock with achievements, if I remember it correctly. Let's roll again. Frost, I'll just take it because it, it seems to be the only available trait there. What I would really love to have is the ring blades. I feel like they would do amazing here in killing the enemy's crit bonus. Why is this 10% here? Wait, what? That alone is 10% and this? Wait, those, those are not the same. Why is piercing wind? That is... Huh? No, wait a second, that shouldn't be crit. Are you sure that's crit? It doesn't look like it's crit when we take a look at the uh, bonuses here. Yeah, I think this is peers. And it's just titled wrong. Okay. Weird. Because it's also like the, the name of the trade is actually the one that usually gives you peers to everything. So, yeah, I was confused for a moment. Okay, so we are hitting a lot of enemies. Yeah, the peers is helping a lot. With our arrows, they don't get blocked anymore immediately. Okay, I would love to go for the other ticket, but right now I just want to get a lot of experience. Force, I don't really care. 20% damage, frost chance. Enemies with frost effect will deal area damage on death or when reaching 20 stacks. Damage is based on the amount of stacks, area is based on the strongest hits received. I think I will just go for one damage upgrade here, that we wipe out the enemies a bit better. I don't really know how good the frost chance is, and it could be it would be the best to only go for that. But you know, you can't do a lot wrong with damage, because it's just damage. But you can do a lot wrong with special effects if you don't know how they properly work. Okay, so this dude, like, look at how easy it is to kill this guy. And now compare this to the rest of them. The the other two that spawned. Wait, did we kill the, the yellow one? Or did he never spawn? The like, yellow version of this. Like, I don't see him anywhere. I guess we go for range here. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened to them? Uh, uh-oh. Okay, yep, I have to take. But this is going way better than with the Cleric. Like, way, way better. Attack speed, really good. I love it. That we shoot faster. Okay. Kill 500 enemies in one visit to the Frozen Deaths. There we go. One is already finished of these achievements. And we'll finish a few more, I would assume. More range is also fine. That means it goes out further. And let's focus on this dude a little bit. Come on. Come on. Why do we not apply a debuff? Um, where's my card? Huh? What what happened to my card? Why didn't I get a card there? I feel like I should have gotten a card. Okay. Sure. But yeah, I'm noticing my transfiction never... Uh, it sometimes applies a debuff. Okay. 
It just doesn't attack very fast, is the thing. Dude, the enemies just look amazing. Do you see that? These flying swordsmen. <laughs> There's the next boss, really. Whoa. Oh, okay. okay, that is a real boss. Yeah, he will drop a proper chest. Hmm. Still wondering why the one dude there didn't drop anything. Let's go for let's go for the damage here again because now we can evolve it if there is an evolution. I just need a ticket. How do I get a ticket? Do I just run to the top there and get the ticket here? I think I can do that, yeah. And then we go to the magnet and collect everything that was dropped on the way there. Oh, sure. Sounds good to me. <laughs> There's always this one when you follow them. Like, do you see that? There's like... Well, they slow down. I just noticed that now. Yeah, look at that. We can kill this dude quickly. He gave us nothing. Why is there a card over there? Huh? Oh, we killed... Flame strike, strong and single target melee attack that targets the closest enemy adds burn to it. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this just a fire thing? Okay, I have to take it. Like, it looks new. Is this just a fire thing? The dragon breath? Hmm. Um. Okay, okay, I'll be honest. I don't know what it's doing. Strong and single target melee attack. Should, should do something. Quick freeze. Frost Avalanche will spawn. Uh, you know what? I'll actually go for the ring blades here. Just because I think they are amazing on this map. So this will be very helpful. But we will definitely upgrade it next. But I have a feeling the flame strike is not working. Uh, that's a little bit weird now. That's awkward. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Let's just take care of the boss. I think it's about time. Okay. Can we? Can we actually? Can we actually take care of you? Doesn't really look like it, does it? We knocked him. Ah, uh, there was a level up. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, we knocked him back. Nice. Nope, nope, we didn't. Oh, it's doing something. Wait, it just recharged. Was there an effect that I didn't see? Okay, like how close do I have to be to? Tr it just happened. Did you guys see anything? The boss didn't drop a chest. Huh? What is? What? What, what, what is going on? <laughs> what? Wait, okay, why are enemies not dropping any... Where did this ticket now come from? Okay, so again, reminder, this is the beta, 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 whatever in your language it's called. Quick freeze, let's go for that. Frost Avalanche will spawn, slow down patches while moving. Patches may also affect... Okay, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good to me, I love it. There's gold over there. And there we can see the patches. They may need some... A little bit of rework, like not a lot, but just a little bit. More damage to the flame strike. I'll go for the attack speed. Okay, this is, this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> okay, dude, okay. They stepped up their game a lot because one issue I had is even though the bosses were a lot more exciting than in most other games because their bosses actually fight, it was also very repetitive, you know. And that was a little bit sad that most of the bosses did exactly the same stuff. And while this is more like a hyperactive Hydra, I think that is already a big step up to what it was before, and that's great. Because one thing that doesn't really help is if you have multiple maps but they just feel like the same map with a super tiny difference, it, it doesn't help you all too much, you know, and it's the same story with bosses. If the only difference is that it has one more projectile, it's like, wow, you changed a lot, my friend. So do the bosses teleport? Yeah, he teleports and he takes no damage at all. Is it just because I don't focus on him? Let's actually roll this. Base crit area, I think I will go for the multi-strike. Uh, oh, okay. Huh. Dude, why do they block so much? Like, a majority of my attacks just get blocked. But I guess bosses were always really powerful. It's just that in a normal case, you're so used to them that you just let them do whatever and don't really care. Uh, okay, this dude is spicy, though. He spawns ranged enemies that shoot. <laughs> I'm feeling no damage. Help. So I'll be honest, I've played over 100 hours in this game. And if I have to focus on something I'm doing, then something was done well. Okay, these are kind of apply slow, sure, let's do that. You know, like if something distracts you, even though you're blindly used to the game, then that, that's just great. And this is what's happening here. Like, I have to pay so much attention to things, and it's very easy to distract me in general, and that's just a really good sign. So, yeah, good job, developers. i like to see more of that. And uh, there we have damage and cone size. I think, uh, let's actually go for the frost chance. I want to see if we can upgrade it again, but I would be surprised. And this negates all incoming damage. So let's focus on the boss for a moment. Hopefully I can kill him. Uh, it's about to be over. Um, um, 
Am I actually losing again? No way I'm losing. Let's go for the force here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, I have to go through. There's like no other way. Otherwise, I get swarmed and just die. There's a magnet over there, so I'll grab that. Is it just because... Like, I don't know what the flame strike is doing, I'll be honest. I haven't seen it attack yet, which doesn't mean it hasn't. It's just I haven't seen it. Let's go for the uh, damage and cone size. Multi-hit is very good. There is another ticket, I think. Or is that the boss? Was this the boss? I think that's the boss. I'm so confused because they change colors for some of these. So it's like, okay, who of you did what exactly? <laughs> Crit chance. That is to everything, right? Oh, but is this the one that we... Wait. Uh, huh? Weapon proficiency? proficiency. I have to be careful because there's one upgrade that I want with multi-hit. And I don't want to pick the wrong one here. 12% attack speed is kind of like nothing, isn't it? That's, that's like a choke. Huh? I think they nerfed a lot of the stuff that I used to love. Uh, let's roll the range. We don't care. The multi-hit... Yeah, we want the other one. Not this one, but we want to have the other one. So I'll just focus on weapons for now. The problem is this time I do not have a wiki in front of me. Where I can just take a look at all the level ups. So we just have to hope that whatever I pick is the best one. Or we have to wait until we get all offers, the different ones. Only 18 minutes left. Oh my god. <laughs> Felt like I'm playing for ages. But yeah, we just have to hope for the best, is what I want to say. The Avalanche is one that I really love, though. Like, I really love this weapon already, and I can't wait to make a single weapon video on this. And just see how crazy you can make this weapon with the right upgrades. Dude, this doggy is so tanky. Uh, I guess you just want to dodge through the projectiles. Like, you actually don't want to run around. That's way too much. Like, too much of a distance. Like, I don't know if my verdict is that the enemies are just way too powerful. Let's... Uh, there is, isn't that a good upgrade that I'm looking for? Like the super power upgrade that gives you like size and everything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, let's take care of this guy because we deal... A Wait, how much damage am I dealing? <laughs> Wait, I'm dealing a huge amount of damage if I actually target them. Wait, huh? How is the random damage that I deal not doing anything? Why is there only gold? Where's my ticket? Again, I, I don't get it. I, I don't know what the game is doing. Multi-hit, we don't care. Crit base bonus, base crit bonus. I mean, yeah, let's just take it. It's okay. So the character used to have an effect where you get 20% additional projectiles. Ah, there's a ticket, of course. It spawned up there. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm looking for. And I have a feeling it it's just doesn't exist anymore. Base on crit chance, that is good. Yep. So every single time we crit, we have a chance to apply an additional stack. And yes, it is additional unless that was changed. And I'm pretty sure I can pick up the card here and upgrade something we have. At least I should have a few upgrades. Pretty sure about that. And I have to stay healthy though. Ah, oh, they feel a little bit out of place. Actually, this one feels good. Is this HD now? They look so HD. I, I don't know if they feel out of place or not. But let's go for the painful incision. Um, okay, that is actually not the one that I wanted to max out, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Let's take care of this dude now. It's about time. Or this boss, yeah. Uh, there's, there's probably an achievement tied to this guy, so I want to make sure that I end up killing him. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, guys. C calm down. Calm down. I can't believe that I have so much crit. Like, just take a look at this. When we attack the enemies, almost everything is a crit. And it's still not enough to deal with this dragon. I will focus him now to make it a little bit easier. That he just stops attacking me, though he is not a big problem. You can just run away and he doesn't do a lot. Um, the Avalanche has been a little bit like disappointing so far, and I don't mean that it's bad, but I rather mean I wanted to have like a huge amount of projectiles on them, and I haven't seen a single upgrade for projectiles, which is like, why? Why are you so stuck in the place? Uh... <laughs> this dude is a meat shield! He just doesn't want to die. Uh, I think the enemies have a little bit of a uh, problem pathing properly. Could that be? Like when I run away, it takes them ages to chase after me. What just happened there? There was a huge explosion. And there's a chat. Apparently we killed a lot of things. And yeah, there's another potion. We can't retrieve them because it's not available. I don't think I can upgrade anything, right? Yeah, I can't upgrade anything. I need a level in Ring Blades or I need a level in the uh, Flame Strike. And I think I just want to have it in the Flame Strike right now. So level up, give me anything. I don't care what it is. Defeat the Basilisk. Did it look like a Basilisk? 
I guess it did. Not to me, but I guess it did. Oh, there's a chest! And another ticket. Why are we getting so many tickets? The Gatherer's Charm. Um, you know what? I will actually take that because maybe... No, it doesn't show the directions. So there is nothing on the stage. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I tried it out and I, it just didn't show anything. So I will just change this again. Huh? Don't need it. Frost Avalanche. Wait, that doesn't help me. That's not the one that I wanted. Uh, let's go for one final roll. Attack speed. Wait, it has attack speed. Which one was that, though? Oh, that was the Flame Strike. I don't think it has graphics. Or is it this explosion that just happened? It's a little bit hard to say. There's a blazing emberfall, flame wave that sets all enemies in vicinity ablaze. Influenced by range, area and burn chance deals no direct damage, so it's just burn over time. Range and burn chance increase for every second the attack was not triggered. How do you- oh, oh, now it got triggered! So if you're close enough, it makes this explosion around that- oh, wow, oh, that is the big explosion? The big ginormous explosion there? Yeah! Interesting. Okay, I have to run through, sadly. We still have one more ticket, so I would like to have the ring blade upgrade. Uh, keep in mind, I don't think we have another trade upgrade for these two. The Frost Avalanche and the uh, Flame Strike, since, uh, well, we don't have them unlocked yet. Is it just me or does it feel like I barely level up? I'm level 50 right now. Is it a lot or not? I think it's just that there's so much action going on where I'm like I'm focusing on that and then it feels like I'm barely leveling up while in reality this is like far ahead of the other stage even. That could be. Or we may be behind because I'm not killing a lot of enemies. Like I feel like I'm really not doing anything here. <laughs> I need the ring blades badly. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're actually cleaning them up quite easily. Dude, can you not give me like the worst thing ever? Just give me something nice. I want a good upgrade. Where's the big upgrade? Does it not exist anymore? Like I'm so close to just banishing all the defense and health upgrades. Usually I do that, but there I know what the enemies will do. Like how hard it will be to deal with them. Here I don't know that, so I want... That is big. Sure. Sure, let's double it, I guess. I think I will do level 10 locks where I get two of them. I, 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 I'm not sure. Wait, we have the big. We have the big. That means we have penetration. Adds two pro projectiles per cycle, additional blades do magic damage, and they can't be blocked. Beautiful, which seems to be a problem here. Does it add two still? It adds two still, right? Yeah, it adds two still. Okay, beautiful. Fire area is very good. That helps our flame strike. There's another chest over there, which doesn't help me because I can't retrieve anything. And uh, do we get this? What, what just happened up there? Yeah, it's the same potion. Exactly the same one. Uh, what just happened up there? Huh? Oh, I need to isolate this character for a thumbnail. Jesus! Um, okay. Can I, can I maybe... Uh, 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 close, 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 careful. Can I maybe isolate... Uh, uh, what is this? What is this dude? That is a normal boss? What is the final boss then? <laughs> Jesus. Attack speed? Um, I could also just upgrade that, right? Mm, no, let's go for it. I think on 6, when I go for big again, I will look if I can also find attack speed. Without a table in front of me, this is a lot harder because I will just have to like keep leveling up and hoping I see it. So it's just a guess at best. Okay. Okay, dude, we are doing this. We are killing this crap. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I could have done this with the cleric at all. Ever. Dude, look at the amount of enemies burning over there. Yeah, th this this flame strike is insane. That's just mental. Oh, uh, let's... I, I'll just go for the crit. I'm not all too picky now because I need to upgrade it, which also means I need another ticket. But yeah, I just want to get it to level 6. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this boss. Very spooky, but I love him. And with the ghosts flying in, the, the they're like knights flying in here. Do you see that? With them, it's really difficult to make sure that you don't get hit. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Let's walk through the balls. And I, I feel like I don't do any damage. Let's just focus him down. How much damage am I dealing? Hmm... Actually, when I focus him, I feel like it's okay. And we can also shoot through walls, I just noticed. So if I just stand behind a ball, you know. Uh, 10 minutes left, okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Careful, careful. Let's just keep shooting. Bl uh, big again. Yeah, I, I said I want the other one, but you know what? I'll just take this. I think they removed the archer upgrade that I wanted with more uh, projectiles, which is sad. Instead, you get crit, which is like, whatever. <laughs> you know? That's not why I wanted the archer. There's another boss. Oh, why are there so many bosses? You know what I'll do? I'll pick up the magnet there and just hope I'll find another one. Because I feel like there is a ginormous amount of experience on the floor. And if I get this, I will get every single upgrade in this world that I could ever need. Ouch, I just hit myself with that. With the hailstorm falling down. What was that? Flying around. Uh, uh, what's the bland dex? I don't know, the boss doesn't seem to be teleporting, the big boy. Like, he's stuck somewhere at the top there. If that's the case, I have a problem. I really hope he's teleporting. Okay. So, do I just- I can just run away from him when he- if he's stuck. Multi-hit on the main weapon. And the other one is crit to everything or what? I is that the deal? Is that like everything that it does? Okay, there's damage frost chance. I'll go for frost chance because the exp Okay, he teleports, good. The frost chance seems to be quite good, actually. But you need to get to 20... Uh, really? So crit chance on everything or multi hit on a main weapon. I will always prefer something on everything. This is crit, I don't care. Let's go for the bulwark because it will be nice, I assume. I hope. <laughs> oh my god, did you notice how many kills I have? Zero. <laughs> the answer is zero. Oh, that's bad. Wait, 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 wait. This is invulnerability, right? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's hit him. Let's hit the boss, let's hit the boss. You you can't survive this, you can't possibly survive. Actually, we do a lot of damage, like I was memeing, but that is a lot of damage. Uh, ring blades, sure, why not? Yeah, look at that. That is actually, that is decent. Uh, uh, yep, 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 yep. I was locked in. Kill 3,000 enemies in one visit to, D dude. <laughs> How am I getting so destroyed? There's a potion, very nice. So the good thing is we almost have the boss, so I'm not all too concerned that we'll, like, if we end up killing him or not, or run out of time. Like, I should definitely have that, yeah. You may want to have the ring that gives you AoE attacks to physical attacks of your, I, I think, only main weapon or everything. Is it everything? Maybe everything. That should be really good. Um, because there are always so many enemies around. Jesus. Okay, I have a feeling if I circle here one more time, the boss may die. So I will just shoot in a bit. There we go. Shoot, shoot. What is hitting? Oh, oh, bullets. Oh, I didn't see them at first. Okay. Uh, okay, what is... That's my last revival. Oh, no. Oh, no. Will we actually fail this? The thing is, we have a lot of achievements, and we should also get some weapon upgrades, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah, maybe going onto the stage, like, in the beta was a bad idea. Like, the first thing that I do. Beta, beta. Hey, Google it, okay? There's UK pronunciation, American pronunciation, German pronunciation. <laughs> In German, it's Butter. <laughs> <gasps> Huge damage boost. And the boss is over there, isn't he? He's stuck in the corner here. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Focus on him. Focus on him, Dex. You're dealing it. Oh, this flying dude. We almost got him. I just want to kill him. Come on. Few more shots. Yes, we killed him. The twisted construct. And he gave us a chest. There is a potion. Very good. Okay. Let's go over there. Let's say hello to the chest there. I don't know if I actually ever banished anything in this run. Or I didn't. I don't think I did. Which would be good. Because that means I can get all the upgrades. We just killed the boss. Do you, do you have to show up, really? Can you not just give me some breathing room for a moment? Yeah, they don't even allow me to get to the chest. This is ridiculous. What, what, okay, wait. What am I missing? Like, what do you need to easily win here? Because I only have 19 more achievements in total to get. That is a tiny bit of experience as a bonus. That's nothing. And the equipment is maybe not the best here, but it's, it should be... Well, I'm moving all the time, am I not? Yeah, I think the equipment that I have sucks. Oh. Gives you 10 defense for 30 seconds after taking damage, but it can't be retrieved. Gives 5 defense. Oh. Well, those are new things, aren't they? I, um, hmm, sure, I mean, sure, sure, I guess, that is weird, that is interesting, I like that, I think. There is another big, and I will double that right away, yep, there we go, we just need one more ticket, I don't know if we'll actually get one more ticket, 
but it may just be over that like I, I messed up with the amount of upgrades that I have. Uh, wait, you have one, you have one, you have two, you have one. Wait, there should be one more, right? One more ticket. So the issue is there are so many ranged shooters that I can't stand still. And this hunter's garb is completely useless. So what I'll do is I'll just switch them out. Since at least this way I take uh, less damage from the enemies, yeah. Never again. This dude may give a ticket. Did we just one shot? What? What? what, what? Yeah, I, I, <clears throat> I have a feeling because I selected the agony, I messed up something or so. That makes this way harder than it should be. I, I can't say it for sure, but something feels really weird here. Like something is off balance. And then the normal enemies take so much time to kill them. And then like uh, uh, boss spawns that may have set health, like how it's supposed to be, uh, just explodes there. <laughs> what was that about, by the way? Okay, okay, this is totally fine. Can I just... Wait a second. Okay, we get a lot of stacks here. That means we could get a huge amount of kills. I will just go for the crit bonus now because I have a huge amount of crit chance, but no crit bonus. Let's just, let's just focus on this dude. The melee attack is exploding. Very nice. Okay, ouch. There's so much flying in though. And I keep taking damage from like just random things. Uh oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, I don't think I can kill this one boss there, the red one, and I would really love to kill him, because I'm pretty sure it will be an achievement. Maybe I can kill him while the, the main boss spawns, like the biggie? I don't actually know what happens, like when he spawns, if he just removes him or not. But if I want to kill him, I have to focus on him right now. So, there's also the... Okay. There's also the yellow one, but I think I'm more concerned about this one here. As long as he doesn't kill me, though. Okay, listen, the focus is a little bit easier said than done because I'm not killing the enemies, so they just overwhelm me. Can I just get like an upgrade, damage upgrade, attack speed upgrade, anything? You know, those that you get as items. I have two and a half minutes left to kill these bosses. There is no way I'll do that. Or maybe they don't have... Oh my god, do you see the amount of burning with the fire strike? That thing is actually quite good, isn't it? Like, it, it's decent. It's not the best thing ever, but it's really decent. Okay, can I kill this yellow dude at least? That I have one of the two that spawned. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wonder what will have the most damage on the end screen. I assume it will be our bow. Probably because that one is really strong. But what will have the second highest damage? Hmm. I think the Avalanche would make a lot of sense. Survive the frozen deaths until there are only two minutes left. Yeah, sure. The Avalanche would make the most sense because it just penetrates all the enemies, so it hits all of them, and, well, they survive forever, so there's a lot to hit, you know. The Flame Strike would also make sense. The only reason why it may not be that one is I haven't seen a single pop-up that told me, hey, we reached 750k damage, which is a little bit weird. Like, it seems to be good. Look at this. Oh, but it counts the fire damage as separate damage, right? If that's the case, that would be really horrible. Like, really, really horrible. I have one and a half minutes left. I'm not dealing any damage to anyone. I don't like this. I really don't like this. 1.5 million damage with the Frost Avalanche. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That that one reached 1.5 million. The other one doesn't even have 750k. There might just not be an achievement, by the way. That could also be the case. Um, okay, I don't have a revival. I can't promise you that we will defeat the boss or even get to the boss. I want to get to the boss, of course, just to show him off, but uh, <laughs> I also want to kill these here. I could just run away. That would be the safest approach. Oh, potion. Potion, very good. Yeah, I overestimated what I'm doing by a lot. Like, I thought I would get even... No, 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 no. I thought I would get even more levels than on the viaduct. And that way, like, it doesn't matter if I go for four different weapons, right? Because there we maxed out, what, five? Um, hmm. Wasn't the case here. Wasn't the case here. 20 seconds left. Yeah, I'll just ignore the boss and try to survive, he said, and went down to 65 HP. Dude, these charging in dudes are just insane. Oh, my God. At least we got 5,000 kills. That is worth an achievement, right? Surely. Oh, 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 potion. Huge, 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 huge. Let's run, let's run. Oh, okay, we did it. I think all the bosses despawned. So who is our boss, huh? Who is the challenger? You? Well, aren't you just the dude from the first stage? I may actually win this then. 
Yeah, his attack pattern is really simple so far. It could be that he will hit me from time to time and that will end me. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's amazing. It looks good. It, it doesn't work well, but it looks good. <laughs> Blade size. <laughs> Great. Uh, Multi-strike doesn't really help us because it just means more. Um, the ring blades don't really feel like they grew a lot. And like, okay, what what is my plan with this boss? Because I'm dealing no damage at all. Jesus! That was an evil attack. We are slowly working on him, okay? It takes time. It takes time. I'll have this one day. almost have it that took so long <laughs> well that was it in the next days i will upload some videos where we go for achievement hunts oh my god we actually got a lot of them but yeah we will hunt down the achievements and well you'll see what we do so if you don't want to miss that out then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like see you the next time